good evening, Theo Trade. This is Corey Rosenblumen. You're watching the Theo Nightly video for the 26th of December, day after Christmas, 2019. And we have one stock and one stock only to talk about today. And that is Amazon. Amazon was up 1%, then two, then three, and then it's going to close the session today up four and a half percent to the upside, followed with other tech names, including Apple, which is up 2% in today's session. Google, or Alphabet, which is up also 1.3%. Facebook, also 1.3%. And others, actually some financial names, joined the top of the trending list and the percent gain in today's session. Back to Amazon. We will take a look at the daily chart just in a moment here to take a look at what happened and why. Number one. Amazon, we'll actually start with a weekly chart to get our perspective here, is in an uptrend, like most stocks, including Apple, Google, and Facebook. All these shares or technology companies are in uptrends, but there's a little something special about them. With the exception of a few, Facebook is not at all-time highs. Google is at all-time highs. Apple is extraordinarily at all time highs, but Amazon is not. So taking a look at our main tech names and what stocks were in focus in today's session, keeping in mind Amazon is underperforming, at least not making all time highs. From a weekly perspective, we can see that this stock has a tendency to rally and rally and rally and rally. That was the case in 2018. That gave way to a, a roughly $600 pullback or $700 pullback in late 2018 and 2019 has been the rally or the correction or the resumption of that uptrend. Amazon remains in a short-term trading range in the context of a broader uptrend. So on the daily perspective, we've been taking a look at these range fade trades. We've recommended some in-out spreads or bear verticals up against 1800 per share and then long against 1700 and then 1720, if we extend that trend line out there. So it has been in a trading range. Again, low to high, high to low, low to high, and back again. That all changed today. So now we have a bullish breakout on the daily chart, taking us above both 1800, the 200 day simple moving average, and that's been resistance up until now. And of course the 1820 per share level. So what's up with Amazon? It is into the prior high, and that is roughly 1860 per share. So we'll be watching this level in the next couple of sessions throughout the remainder of December and pushing into 2020. So we'll look at 1900 as a potential upside target. And if you are or were long shares or long stock or long option, you're in the profit zone. And if not, be a little cautious, careful, and defensive given how far the stock traded and it was the number one focus of the day. Apple shares just kept that uptrend going. I know traders are saying, when's the stock going to pull back? It had a shot to pull back against 280, but did not do so. We always say if something should happen, like a pullback, and it doesn't, it often leads to a larger than expected move in the opposite direction. This is continuing the short squeeze in motion and extending these new all-time highs for Apple shares. There's not a lot you can do with this stock right now. If you are not already long, it is too late to get long given how overextended the stock is. It's also not a great short because that was a perfect little short sell that went nowhere. So that's what the market is. It's this bullish holiday drift, low volume, relatively, I mean, today's an exception, but low volatility range expansion to the upside. Bullish holiday drift is what I am referring to and what we may be calling it by definition. Bullish holiday drift. That's showing up again in Google or Alphabet. It did have a slight pullback and a potential buy into this 20 exponential. Remember, in uptrending stocks, stocks making higher highs, higher lows, with rising moving averages on the daily chart, I recommend call purchase strategies such as in-out spreads or 
bull verticals. And that's usually put on into or on a touch of the rising 20 or 50 day moving averages when the price comes into it from above. So any number of pullbacks would have been a good spot to get long into a trending stock. And the most recent example is there. It is too late to get long when it's above these averages because odds favor a pullback or retracement. We want to buy retracements. That didn't really happen in Amazon. It's not quite uptrending. It's breaking out of a range. Google is uptrending. In Apple, the most recent pullback was at the beginning of December, otherwise the beginning of November. And there really wasn't many pullbacks outside of this uptrend. I do like to trade into trending stocks, but I understand if you're more risk averse or don't want to play trending or momentum style trades. If you feel like the stock has gone too far too fast, you don't want to put risk at play. That is perfectly fine. There are many other stocks to trade. I do like to find stocks that are strong getting stronger. And many times I show these new 52 week high scans. And tonight we'll do that again as the market broke to new highs. So these are the sectors, or I guess the stocks grouped by sectors. Not a lot stands out. Information technology, healthcare financials, and the biggest gainer of today's session was the consumer discretionary, or XLY. A lot of money came into that sector, in part, you see Las Vegas Sands, Hilton Worldwide, Royal Caribbean, and Marriott, just to name a few. If you would like to sort by market capitalization of these new or stocks making new 52-week highs, and in some case, new all-time highs, you have Apple, another new high. Microsoft continues to make new highs. JP Morgan Chase, a financial company. Visa, Bank of America, Intel, Citigroup, and others, including Goldman Sachs. So again, these stocks are joining the market at all-time highs. We have a scan and we can look at those from within new 52-week highs. We can also zoom in on some of these stocks making new all-time highs. I want to focus our attention on these. I just pulled this or save this particular scan, new yearly highs, into a personal watch list. And that just gets me a sense of new yearly highs. We can also do new yearly lows. And that pulls these names over into our watch list in think or swim. So Apple being number one, see what you see that right there. A Citigroup, another stock that's making new all-time highs, JP Morgan Chase. And we're looking again uh, for pullbacks, opportunities to get into these trending stocks. We saw Las Vegas Sands, maybe not the best candidate. And let's see other names that are large cap. Bank of America. Here's Microsoft that just keeps on going, keeps giving the bulls more profit. Again, pullbacks or retracement trades are the favored strategy. Uh, Intel, we like to see stocks that are making brand new highs, uh, like Microsoft versus Intel, which just pierced slightly above the 2019 high. And others, including, here is Advanced Micro, which has gone off the rails bullish, and others. So that's just another recap of stocks making new all-time or new 52-week highs Strategy is expect them to get stronger by the pullbacks. Otherwise, be safe, careful. The market is overbought, is overextended. We can all see that, but it's not pulling back. So wait for the market to break these trend lines. And in the absence of that break, it's bull only plays or defensive hedges. And of course, be careful and safe as always. This is Corey Rosenblum with your Theo Knightley video for December 26th, 2019.